lower 200s. Holy crap, my game feels nuts. What's up, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be optimizing my PC to see if I can bring down my ping at all and how much more FPS I can get. There have been tips and tricks to get better ping, better FPS since the game first came out and they just continue to get more and more complex. I haven't done anything to my PC since around season seven or season eight of chapter one. Back then, I did a couple minor things to try to get better FPS, but today we're gonna change that. Today, I'm going to be trying a ton of better ping, better FPS tips and tricks, and we're going to see if these truly work or not. As always, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please don't forget to drop a like on the video, it helps the channel a ton, and if you enjoy this content, you want to see more, feel free to click that subscribe button, it's greatly appreciated. Let's head into Fortnite and see what my current FPS is. Right off the bat, as you can see, I have mid-30s ping. Now, I do not get this ping in every server, for some reason, I have to leave and re EQ into creative usually between three to four times before I get a 30 ping lobby. Otherwise, my lobby's ping can vary from 60 all the way up to like 120. This is the lowest ping I can get in Fortnite. To give some background knowledge, I keep all my graphic settings on low or off, except for view distance. I keep that on epic. I'm gonna tell you my specs. I have an AMD Ryzen 5 2606 core, I have a GTX 1060, and I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I cap my frames at 144. So 144 frames free building in creative. Let's see if we can stay consistent. I just got on, so do not judge, please. It tends to stay pretty consistent, but I'm also just in a plain creative lobby. There's nothing to see. One big thing you have to remember is right now I'm doing these tests with my mic software open, my recording software, my camera software. I have a bunch of different applications running in the background. So for every test I do while I'm recording, I'm also gonna do the same test while I'm not recording and take the clip through GeForce Experience. So here's a test that people love to do when they first get their PCs. They love to do it because it is the most frames you will ever see on your game because it is the least Least intensive graphic you can see you're standing here you're not moving you're looking into the sky and you set your FPS to unlimited so as you can see for me while I'm recording I get a right around lower 200s I've seen people who have really good PCs that get all the way up to the like 900s a thousand mark that's the dream but for now we have this this is a test without any recording software varying between low 300s to upper 200s however this is just in creative looking at an almost static sky the real test will come in when we hop into a public match and that's where we're headed right now simply staring at the sky with my recording software software on while playing the game, I'm not even getting to my full 144 frames what I cap at. And this will be my FPS test in game, no recording software. It's definitely better in the outskirts of the map versus main POIs. Now it's time to boost our FPS. Our first tip is going to be coming from It's Jerrion. And actually, the majority, if not all, of the tips used in this video come from It's Jerrion. He does so many videos on PC optimization and FPS boost, all of those sorts of things. Two hours later. Holy crap, my game feels nuts. I just finished that little solo game before I opened any of my recording software. I wanted to test it out just my PC in the game open. I can honestly say I don't think my game has ever felt that good in a public match. Sure, in creative, I can do that stuff. I can build, do all that. But in a public match, being able to build like that... If 
if you're curious what I did, basically what I've done is follow these two videos by It's Jerrion. In these two videos, he covers so many different FPS boosting tips. There's everything from Windows optimization to in-game settings that you need to change. I just spent probably 45 minutes going through following each of these videos step for step, copying every single thing that Jerrion did. And on top of Jerrion's input, he also paired with another guy that's a PC tweaker. So this guy gets down and discovers all this stuff and then shares it with Jerrion so Jerrion can expose it to a bigger audience with his bigger platform. I'm not going to get into specifics, but basically there's a ton of different things that you can run through. You can find this by going to Jerrion's videos, but all these basically tweak different things in your PC. For example, he shows a picture and you want to go into your Nvidia GPU settings and copy all of these settings. And that's just one of like 20 different things to do. And then for in-game settings, I didn't change much, but I did change a few things that he recommended. Those few things are turning on DirectX 12, turning on multi-threaded rendering, and then turning off all your replays. Now, obviously, if you're making a montage or something using the replay feature, you're going to have to remember to turn this back on. But otherwise, personally, for me, replays aren't very useful anyway, so turning replays off is no issue for me. And the last thing that you can do in-game is you can turn this down to 1600 by 900. However, it makes everything look a little more blurry. So when you're trying to create content and stuff like I do, then you're probably gonna wanna leave it 1920 by 1080. Otherwise, crank it down a little bit. It's going to increase your FPS by a lot. But those are really the only settings in game that you can change that'll give you an FPS boost. And like I said, if you wanna get in depth into the PC Windows optimization, go over to Jerrion's channel. I linked both of the videos that I used down in the description below. So let's get some with our streaming software running. I believe previously when I put my capped frame rate to unlimited, I got lower 200s and there definitely seems to be a little bit of a boost, not nearly as big of a boost as I noticed without anything running. When I just had Fortnite running on my PC, I definitely noticed a way bigger boost as shown right here. We went from around 270 all the way up to between 320 and 330 for a gain of almost 60 frames per second. Along with the boosted FPS came an input lag reduction, as well as more steady frames. I'm not seeing myself drop frames as much as before. Looks like we jumped up 30 or so frames on average. I would definitely say that's a good return on your investment of time to get an extra 30 to 40 frames in game. It didn't really affect my ping all that much, but I didn't really expect it to. I'm definitely satisfied with my 45 minutes of time spent on this. And I think I might even bump up my cap frame rate to 160 now that I'm able to actually stay a consistent 160. In conclusion, if you have not yet optimized your PC, I highly recommend it. It's pretty much a free PC upgrade. So yeah, that is what happens when you optimize your PC. That is what happens to your frames. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like on it. Subscribe for more. I hope to see you guys in another video. Peace out.